Ms. Welch is here with us now with their plan. Yeah, obviously this has been a big concern down at the legislature. you got to remember this goes all the way back to 2000 when voters approved a 0.6% sales tax increase. That money going toward education. Now that money is set to expire in 2020. And when it does, schools could lose hundreds of millions of dollars a year unless lawmakers can now muster up the political will to save it. We're running out of time. State Senator Kate Brophy McGee is one of two lawmakers now rushing to extend Proposition 301 for an additional eight years. Without that extension, K-12 schools would fall off what is known as the fiscal cliff, meaning they would lose $600 million every year. All this says is, let's continue it, let's eliminate the cliff, and let's start having those conversations so that we don't push these these schools up against the wall. Right now, her legislative proposal does have broad bipartisan support, but there are still some concerns. Children's advocate Dana Wolf Namark said.